The kitchen is the heart of every home, so when my husband and I were house hunting in Lagos, a spacious kitchen was at the top of our list, especially for a food content creator like me. House hunting in Lagos is no joke, but with prayers and persistence, we finally found our dream home that ticked all the boxes, including that perfect kitchen space. We hired an interior designer who took measurements of the kitchens before we moved in, so the cabinets were ready to be installed as soon as we arrived. The interior team arrived two days after we moved in and the cabinets were installed, and my amazing husband surprised me with a double door fridge that I've been dreaming about. Seriously, once you go Samsung, there is no turning back. Our stuff was on the road for three nights and I tell you, my deep freezer, which is a Samsung, came in still frozen with some of the food items still frozen. Moving the huge fridge from the dining room to the kitchen was quite a challenge and although I wanted to unbox it for you guys, they had to do it to get through the door. I was juggling mommy duties and overseeing the cabinet installation, which was quite the workout. <laughs> By evening, the team was wrapping up since it was getting dark. The gas company came to install the gas and the CCTV was set up the same day. After cleaning, they called it a day and my kitchen was about 70% ready at this point. The washing machine, air conditioner and heat extractor still needed to be installed and I wasn't thrilled with the size of the island. I wanted a more spacious island with cabinets so they had to redo it. The wood used in my old pantry was given to my interior designer to use and build my new pantry. And three days later, they came around to install the pantry and I can't tell you how much I miss my old pantry. It was so spacious, <laughs> but I'm grateful for this new space and what it brings. Once the pantry, AC and revised island were in place, my kitchen was 85% ready, just waiting on the heat extractor. For aesthetics and functionality, a fridge stand was built for the fridge. <laughs> and oh boy, getting that fridge to sit in this space was no joke. Shout out to God for giving men strength to lift heavy weights. <laughs> you guys, you see this fridge? <laughs> I'm not going to hear what for my hand because of this fridge. The amount of organized my fridge makes me content I'll be giving you guys. Eh? <laughs> when I go here around, let's just be going. <laughs> Once the fridge was inserted, we had to tear out the nylons from the cabinets. And you can tell that I was super excited tearing out the nylons. For some reason, it felt like unboxing a new kitchen gadget. Once the plastics was off, the beauty of the kitchen really shone through. The next day, the heat extractor installer came around and installed the heat extractor. And that led us to another round of cleaning. <laughs> I opted for custom made blinds, which took an extra two days. Finally, my kitchen was complete. Um, like I follow for part three, see how I organize my new space and to see the new blind that I chose. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in my next post. Bye, guys.